News that we are breaking to you. Authorities have now shut educational institutions, including degree colleges and higher secondary schools in Bandipur and Baramola, in Supor, Anantnag, Pulwama, as well as Gandharbal districts. Now, this step has been taken as a precautionary measure. Also, heavy deployment of police has uh, of the forces has been uh, has been put out across these locations, which uh, saw maximum trouble yesterday. We also brought you uh, details from uh, you know from earlier earlier when in fact 47 personnel of the security first forces were injured in clashes with uh, with protesters across the state. Well, so clearly the protests have uh, gathered momentum and it's becoming a huge law and order challenge. Uh, let me bring in Mir Farid tracking the situation for us. Uh, Farid, like we envisaged, in fact, that this is uh, the, the protests at least have now spread across various districts. Uh, we hear that forces are maintaining a tight vigil, but school and educational institutions are having to uh, face a closure. Can you update us with the latest, please? Uh, yes, that's right, and uh, it is a precautionary measure that has been initiated by the authorities uh, on the expected lines because uh, yesterday most of uh, these uh, protests were driven by students. Uh, we know by Cross Valley there were spontaneous protests, and uh, most in most of the places students uh, uh, who had gone uh, to the various educational institutions just came out and started protesting. While uh, most of these protests remained peaceful, there were many which uh, uh, turned out to be very violent. And uh, keeping in mind the sensitivity around the issue and the possibility of uh, this really further snowballing, uh, the authorities today have shut uh, schools, education institutions in many districts, including uh, uh, Bandipura district, which remained tense yesterday, and uh, uh, also Gandharbal, Baramula, Anatnath, Pulwama, uh, and even Sopor police district, uh, these education institutions, including uh, degree colleges and uh, higher secondary schools have been shut uh, to add to that uh, uh, huge security presence, uh, security forces right. deployed at areas where yesterday there was uh, violence and uh, more trouble. So that, that really is the latest. We'll have to see through the day what exactly happens as far as uh, these protests are concerned. But we'll have an eye on that story. Thanks, Farid, for joining us.